All right, so the way that I edit tech videos or just videos, I need to go to a lot of web pages that are usually very long to talk about whatever the product is. And I need to take a multi-page screenshot, which is to say a really long page screenshot, so that I can go to any part of this page. Here's one that I already took. As you can see, we are at 100% right here. And dang, that is really big. Let's do that. And the reason that this looks so good, uh, and you can zoom in really far, is because when I take a screenshot of a web page, I will use control plus 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 plus. Usually I'll go to like 150%. Sometimes I'll go to 200%. I mean, it depends on what it is. And then I will also change the size of the page horizontally to fit stuff in and to change what paragraphs look like and stuff. So what I need is an application that can take a screenshot like this instantaneously. And I have such a thing, but the problem is that it doesn't work nearly as well as it used to. I'm going to hit Control Shift tilde, and now we just sit around and wait. We're sitting around and waiting because there used to be a little progress bar, and actually it used to happen instantaneously. Here we go. And as you noticed, the screen did not scroll when it was doing that. Now, it always dumps you into this root folder, which is really dumb. It didn't used to do that, so I programmed a thing on my stream deck that just uh, goes to the page, and then I can go there again, and here it is. Here it is in Photoshop. Ta-da! Let's zoom in. Let's zoom into 100. That's just 50%. 100%. Hey, looks really good. You can put this up in a video and scroll around and do whatever you like. How nice is that? The secret sauce is that it uses something called, I believe, extended active window. Hypersnap does this and screen grab with an exclamation mark does this. But both of them have serious problems and I'm worried that uh, screen grab is gonna break even more than it already has and eventually it will be unusable. Screen grab is what I use for everything and I've been using it for years and a Firefox update broke it and I'm trying to find a replacement. So, like if you search for multi-page screenshot application, you'll find all sorts of stuff and they all suck. Here's awesome screen grab. Capture entire page. Look what it does. It scrolls it. This, guys, this is the worst possible way to grab a web page for several reasons. Notice how that, uh, notice how that laptop there was moving around. That's because, at least with Apple and with a lot of other programs, stuff moves as you scroll around the web page. Now, also notice how long it took for this to appear. It's a good size. It used the same size that I have. But look at this. What is that crap? This shows up. Hang on. Am I at? Here we go. So this is at 100%. So that shows up everywhere because it's just stitching together full screen things like this looks awful like it's so bad like okay I'm just how do I save this you say done and then you have to wait again for it to like I hate awesome screenshot I never use it save okay say save okay and then go here whatever okay I hate awesome screen grab I only installed it to show you guys how terrible it is Let's try um, something else. I believe ShareX can also do one. Scrolling capture of this. Okay, so ShareX can do it as well. And in general, ShareX is actually excellent. Uh, I really like ShareX. It does so many good things. And if anybody is going to be able to figure out how to do this feature properly, it will be the ShareX guys. So guys, if you're watching, like this... This is a huge, incredibly valuable feature. Oh, look, it actually captured that as well. But let's see if... Oh, gosh, that is hideous. Oh, what? Wow, ShareX, you are not, not, not impressing me. You are so disappointing to me. All right, let's try something else. Well, let's just go to the top. Hypersnap add-on, capture entire page. Ah, ooh, what just ha- Oh, it didn't have to scroll at all. Hmm, how interesting. Let's take a look at this. Put it in our folder. And, hey, where'd you go? Moved or missing? 
What the frick? Where is it? What? Oh, it goes here. Okay, so it doesn't save it directly. It adds this little watermark on here because I haven't bought this yet, and I think there will be one in the middle. Yeah, there's one in the middle. And it, like, okay, that's fair enough. I'm totally willing to buy this if it had the ability to use the zoom level, and it doesn't. And that is why HyperSnap is terrible. So let's just save this. Say, oh, oh no, it's the old version. Oh gosh. Let's take a let's take a look at this. Zoom in. Okay, we're here at 100%. And as you can see, with the other ones, I had much better looking text, much better looking everything. And this is just pixely garbage. And especially when you put this into Premiere, it's going to look even worse. Let's try the HyperSnap standalone application. Capture, scroll page. Whoa. What? Yes, you. And enter. Okay, 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 it's doing it. It won't let my cursor leave. That's interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, I just moved around and I think it messed it up. Anyway, let's, whoa. No, later. Okay, oh, God. Go away. I said no. <sighs> okay, it looks like, okay, when you use the HyperSnap application, it will use 150% scaling as I, well, this is 170. Okay, it will use this, the, the, the scaling that I request. Oh, wow, that looks bad. Okay, it'll also do crap like this. Okay, as you can see, this is problematic. Like, this is unusable. You had one job, HyperSnap, one job, and it didn't get to the end because I interrupted it. There is a method where it'll, it'll happen instantaneously, and I just want to show you why it doesn't work. Aha! Okay, this is it. Extended active window. Capture the active window at any size you want. Can be much bigger than the screen. This, this is fantastic, but it's total garbage the way that the HyperSnap people implemented it. Let me show you, like, it's instantly disappointing. Okay, what is this? It is asking me for the dimensions that I want. <laughs> what? 1,745 pixels high. Okay, great. Thank you. But how high is the entire page? I don't know. Let's just add a zero here and see what happens. If we go too far, what what happens? I don't know. Would take, yes, I, I do want that. Okay. Took it incredibly quickly. Thank you. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look. And there's not going to be any stitching problems because it took the photo instantaneously. It has the scaling that I wanted, 150 or 170% scaling. That's good. It has the watermark, which I can get rid of if I pay for it. Oh, it didn't get all the way to the top. Okay, this kind of a save as dialogue, like this is the old style. This is the old crappy style that takes forever to go anywhere. There's no address bar. There's no address bar. And the quick access is this weird thing rather than being in a big list over here. Like this is garbage. Okay, let's, let's try again. Extended active window. Let's try 20,000 pixels high. Let's just see what happens. Takes it instantly, and that's fantastic. That's what it should... Oh, wow. Does it turn it black? Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, That's not good. That's not good. Oh, man. Okay, by the way, and this is, this is not any... Uh, applications fault you have to pretty much like scroll all the way down to the bottom of a page and then scroll all the way back to the top before you take a screenshot always because there's stuff that won't load on purpose until you get to it so you just that's just something you have to know anyway it looks like this completely completely shit the bed uh, Wow did I type in a number that was too high I don't know look at how much time I'm wasting just trying to figure this out um, let's try 15,000. Yes. Okay, didn't turn black. Let's see how far down that goes. Does it go to the bottom of the page? Does it? No, it doesn't. 
So let's try 20,000 straight up. Yes. Okay, I think if you go too far beyond the bottom, you get black. So like this is garbage. Garbage. I would never pay for this. You guys, the HyperSnap people are so close to having a great application and they just they just on their way to home plate, they just do a face plant into the dirt and they don't get up. So, guys, guys, what I'm looking for is an application or an extension for a browser, Firefox or Chrome, I don't care, which will do this. Extended active window capture, but is not the piece of garbage that Hypersnap is. In Chrome, by the way, we have screen grab, and if we do the same thing, it actually does scroll. It does not do the extended active window thing, which it really should be doing. So screen grab is great in Firefox, but in Chrome, it's just the same old garbage that you find everywhere else. Okay, and this is the one we just took, and guess what? It has the horrible banner all over it. Programmers of the world, if you're out there, you know, that's my request. I need a screen grab application that can take an extended active window capture and will not ask me the values of what I'm trying to capture. It should just know because it exists. It did exist. It was perfect. And then Firefox updated some stuff and what I've used has never worked again. So the most likely candidate is going to be the ShareX guys. Well, not impressive so far, but um, I, I think like ShareX is amazing at, at everything else. ShareX is, is the greatest screen capture software that I've ever used, hands down. It is so incredibly customizable. There are so many options in here. It is just fantastic. If anybody can figure out the extended active capture thing, it's going to be you guys. So that is my hope. Okay. Terran rant over for the day. Come back next time when I'll be discussing something else. And bye bye